Hey guys, um, I'm actually making a beauty video for once, which is kind of like, whoa. And one thing that you might have noticed is I kind of dyed my hair again. It's semi-permanent though. Um, it's like, what is it, Natural Instincts. I don't remember the brand though, but the color is light brown. It'll fade though. So, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite summer products. Because summer means you want to go a lot lighter with anything you're putting on your face. So, and a lot of people have been wanting to see a beauty video, so here it is. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is face stuff. Um, okay. So, for something light for most days, I really like the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I've got that on right now. It... It has really good coverage for a tinted moisturizer, and I really like it. But on its own, I feel like it's a little bit dull on the skin, but that's just me. So I like to mix, I like to mix this a lot of things. The Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20 Illuminating. If any type of like face glow product that isn't like pink colored or anything like a neutral color, you can mix it in. And it might be a little bit hard to tell, but it's got a really, it's super shimmery. Like, I got it originally to use on its own, and I realized it's way too pearly for that. But this is really good to get to mix in with anything or just put on your cheeks for like a super pretty glow. So yeah. And an alternative if you want to use a foundation for a little bit more coverage on your face. This has been compared to the NARS Sheer Glow or whatever. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. And it's good for your skin and it's really fresh looking. I really like it. And I have mine in Nude 40. See here it is. It's just like, it's... Not a pump. And then for concealer, for all over the face, um, I like the Makeup Forever Concealer Palette. Um, this is number one. It has a very, very light one, which you can see that I haven't really used. Two slightly darker ones. I use this one a lot. And this one, which I use a lot, a lot. This is for the eyes, like a salmon color. It's really good for our circles. Like, it actually covers them. So it's good. And it's it's gotten really gross and messy. And then the green one, which is really handy, but for some reason I haven't used it as much. But this is amazing. It's high dev, so it's pretty hard to see it on your skin, and it lasts pretty well. And I think it's a good value. And then another product. A lot of this stuff is expensive, but it's like really really works well. Um, this is the Smashbox Halo to Go powder. I don't like to wear powder on my face because it makes my skin look all matte and gross and I prefer dewy but this one actually is like looks so nice on your skin oh my gosh it is so pretty and the mini one I'll probably get a bigger one eventually once I can save the money and that's gonna take a long time before I can want to spend sixty dollars on a powder so that's really good um cheeks the only blush I've been using recently is the Benetint because it's seriously the prettiest color ever I do have that on my cheeks right now, but with the lighting, it'll probably be hard to see it. But this is the Pocket Pal, and it comes with lip gloss too, which I don't really use. Well, I just put some on. Um, I really like Benetit though. It's just like a really rosy tint. You just apply it to your skin. Hold on. Like so, and blend it in. And you're going to have a really light rosiness. Which I don't know what I'm showing you because it's probably too hard to see, but um, I like that a lot. And, and I'm getting kind of random. Actually, a face lotion that I like to use for summer is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel because it moisturizes well and it's not all heavy and it feels so much better to put on your skin than like a regular moisturizer. So this is good. Um, mascara. Um, my two favorite mascaras, which unfortunately aren't waterproof, because I haven't gotten to the point where I'm like swimming every day, so I'm still using regular mascaras, but I really love these ones. Okay. The first one is like my all-time favorite one, which is the Fresh Mascara. The packaging is so cute. I think it's like $24, so it's kind of expensive, but it's, the brush is starting to get a little bit icky for me, because I've had it for a while. Um, it's very natural looking, and you can build it up to get really long eyelashes. And this also is good if you want to use this and then use a different mascara over it that like curls or something because this is good with like length and volume and stuff. Not so much curl though, but it's so pretty. I really like it. Then the other one, which is like 
pretty expensive. Um, it's also pretty new. Like I, I mean, not new, just came out, but I just got it recently. It's the YSL mascara. I think it's just their mascara volume effect. It's in black. Um, this is meant to give you false lashes that look. Um, if you put enough on, which isn't very much, you can get like, yeah, seriously legit fake eyelashes off. I've got it on right now, but you probably can't tell so well because I didn't put a lot on. And the lighting's kind of weird from when it's from my window. So, what else? Um, if you want your makeup to last longer, since everything's going to want to melt off in the sun, then I'd recommend looking into the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I still haven't got to use it that much to try it out, and when I have used it, I didn't notice much of a difference, but it's probably just because I did something wrong, or I wasn't paying attention enough, so I still need to like look into this more, but the reviews that I've read say it's really good, so I am assuming that this works well, because it's supposed to make your makeup last like through everything, which is pretty cool. And, oh, Hoola Bronzer, really good product. Um, it's like the best bronzer ever. I really like it and it works really well for contouring on your face. And I haven't, I'm not talking about eyeshadow because I think that if you want to look natural, um, I'm looking at the camera, um, then it's better to not use eyeshadow. So, the last thing I'm going to talk about, I only have one of the two, is the, these little... If you can get your hands on the OPI like Shrek nail polish set, it's really pretty. I love the colors. This is a purple one. The set, this one's a blue one. And here's the blue one. They're really teeny and cute. And they're the prettiest colors ever. And that's pretty much it. Um, my little, no, no. Wait, no, there's one more thing. It's Max lipstick. I don't really wear lipstick that much, but if you're going to wear something, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's Hue Lip Glaze. When I first used it, I thought it was way too um, nude, but if you put the right amount on and have lip balm underneath it, that's important. You have lip balm or else it's not cakey. It is the prettiest, like, creamy pink. I really like it. I think it's pretty. Um, so, that's pretty much it for my video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to request something, then put it down here. I'm enjoying summer. I hope you guys are, and um, have a nice day. Bye-bye.